Thank you for inviting me. My dear friends, no one could have dreamed that I could join you here today. Yet, here I am. And yes, it is a culture shock for me. After so many years. But I'm very touched to see you all. And above all, to see how you have brought to life, developed and built on the idea that was born on the battlefield of Solferino. My memory of Solferino is a memory of innovation. When the woman of Castaglione and I, myself, initiated the first humanitarian action by what would become the Red Cross and Red Crescent movement, we couldn't have envisioned the enormous impact we, as a movement, have today. This impact started with this very simple idea of a neutral organization of volunteers that could help the wounded and the dying. Many people thought it was an unrealistic idea, but here we are. I am proud of the leadership of our movement. I am proud of all those governments that supported the concept of impartial and neutral help. And above all, I am proud of our volunteers on whom our movement is built. We are one of the greatest humanitarian innovation in history. And this gives a responsibility, in my opinion, to lead humanitarian innovation in the 21st century. I traveled long distances to spread the idea of Solferino. I abided by and sometimes bent or bypassed the strict societal rules of my time. Innovation often starts with a simple idea, but we have to think big and be opportunistic to bring these simple ideas to life. We can do that, no doubt we can. The world has changed and so has the movement. I see the enormous challenges that you are currently facing. The growing number of people you have to serve in protracted crisis, the threats of climate change and unexpected threats such as the current pandemic. And I can see the dark clouds that are forming in the nearby future. These challenges and these clouds need simple ideas and inclusive development of new humanitarian approaches. To tackle these challenges and face these clouds, there are enormous opportunities in the new approaches and new technological advancements the world is making. Think about new ways to raise funds. Think about the benefits of inclusion. Think of new communication technologies to reach people around the world. Think of the possibilities of using data and machine learning for prioritizing and fine-tuning the delivery of aid. Think about artificial intelligence and guided machines that can fly without a pilot to deliver medicines. Open your eyes, open your mind. It is not up to me now, it is up to you. Think about how we, with new ideas, tools, skills, ways of working and partners, can create an agile movement that fulfills its mission so that anyone who needs our help can get it. Power up humanity and remember this simple idea that was born in Solferino. We can do that. Thank you and good luck.